Good evening. My name is Bernard Watson, and I am a third-year junior here at North Carolina Central University, a criminal justice major from Raleigh, North Carolina. Um, and this will be my Eagle Corps video. Why are you interested in the Eagle Corps position? Well, first of all, I have a passion for this university. I love this university until the day I graduate and much beyond that. Um, I'm highly involved within this university, and I've developed through this university a passion for helping people. And Eagle Corps fits the description of helping freshmen that don't necessarily know the ropes of the college life and know how to adjust when coming to high school. So I feel like the biggest impact I can make is be an orientation leader and get them on the right track to success and all that. What is something that I hope to gain from this position? Something I hope to gain from this position um, is better leadership skills. Um, even though I did do this job last year, it's something leadership is something you can always build on. You can never have enough leadership skills. Why should a student come to North Carolina Central University? Um, hands down, we're the best university that God has ever put on this earth. Um, North Carolina Central University is a very family-oriented university. Um, even though all of us don't know each other personally, you still get a family warm and a, a family warm feeling from us. Um, just about everybody speaks when they see you and they come in contact with you. Anybody's really rude, and it's super easy to get involved and get and get ahead when you come to North Carolina Central University. It's a better start than you get in most colleges. A mother asks you, what does truth and service mean to me? What does truth and service mean to me? Well, truth and service is basically taking truth and pride into your school, always doing the right thing, and honor the university and the history it was founded upon. Service is, of course, serving your university in the best way possible. Within serving your university, you also serve the community. Um, and community service is a big part of North Carolina Central University. Not only is it just a graduation tool, but it also gives over 60,000 community service hours to the city of Durham within each class. I want my daughter to be safe here at North Carolina Central University. Now, her Durham is a, da is a very dangerous place. It's NCCU safe. Um, NCCU is just as safe as any other institution, if not better. Um, we have active crime alerts and active police that are very hands-on with students. Um, I actually know a few of the police officers personally, and they are always looking for ways to integrate with the students and make sure the students are safe, whether that be fast response or sending out calls or emails when stuff happens and giving people, you know, the classes and programs and opportunities to learn how to keep themselves safe and out of dangerous situations. How do you define diversity? And how do you contribute to a diverse to contribute to the diversity of a team? Um well, diverse than myself, I'm African American, white, and Native American. So for myself, I'm very kind of sort of diverse. Um, but diversity means to not to well to me. It means not to hold yourself just to one group or one clique of people that you just share certain facial features or skin characteristics with is diversity means to me like expanding your normal group of people. What you or the normal people that you would hang out with go outside of that boundary. Um and as being an or orientation leader last year and reapplying this year, um diversity is something that I always harp on. Even with my groups last year, I made everybody, you know, tell something that was different or something, quote-unquote, that was weird about yourself. Um, just to see how diverse and how different everybody was and how how different people can get along so well. A group of Eagle Corps leaders develop a very tight bond in the summer and begin hanging out exclusively with one another. You can tell that this is affecting other Eagle Corps 
leaders, how would you address the situation? Um, well, first of all, it's great that the Eagle Corps leaders made a bond and, you know, are getting to know each other where they wouldn't normally hang out within the regular school year. That's great. But just making sure that they understand the concept of teamwork and the concept of getting stuff done together as a team, um, and not and not displaying that to the uh, new students that come in, I wouldn't want to the new students to see that Eagle Corps within itself is clickish and somebody doesn't like this person. We all need to be on one accord as a team, at least within the line in Call of Duty. Um, Personally, off the clock, hang out with, with with whoever you please, by all means. But when it comes to Eagle Corps, make sure everybody is involved and make sure everybody is included and make sure that teamwork really shows. Because teamwork, and with us displaying teamwork to new students, it will make them feel more at home and feel like they can open up to more of all of us. While working in a group of students, you overhear another Eagle Corps leader giving apparent inaccurate information about service on campus. How would you address the situation? Um, but, I'll, but I will let the Eagle Corps that was given the information first finish, and then I will just follow up on him with a, with more accurate knowledge um, and give that parent alternate solutions and... Um, just make sure, and then make sure I pull the Eagle Corps leader aside for next time and tell him that, hey, the accurate, the information you gave was, you know, not correct or whatever. Just so he would know for future reference. And then make sure I correct what he said. A student says to you, I don't know if I want to come to NCCU. My boyfriend lives back home, and I must, and I have a second thought about I have some second thoughts about coming to school. Um, what would I tell or tell my groups last year with um those who had boyfriends within the program that I held um over the summer with the Battle of the Sexes during orientation? Um, that you never want to that you never want to base your your future and your goals and your aspirations off anybody necessarily. Family is understandable, but anybody that's not directly related to you or anything, don't pretty much base your base yourself off anybody else. Because yes, your relationship is a great thing, but also you could be holding back and squandering your future endeavors and what you could possibly go on to do great things because you're afraid to let go and try new things. So I wouldn't, I would never tell anybody to break up with a significant other, but try to branch out and see if you can if you can't work out the relationship within the distance. Um, Cause one job of a significant other is to better the other person that you're with and want wanting them to do better and strive and push them to do better. So the relationship could still work within the distance, just never base your self or future goals off that other person. And that will be all for my video. Thanks and have a good day.